What's up YouTube, my name's Will. Welcome back to the channel and to this video where I'm going to be doing an Alfleet haul for their latest summer launch. You know I love Alfleet, I always pick something up, I always do a haul video. And at the moment that is basically what the channel consists of, hence why there's massive gaps in between. I will be coming out with a video as to explain what the fuck's happened to this channel over the last six months. But for now, let's just jump straight into this Alphalete video because I am definitely excited. Right guys, so today is Wednesday. My package turned up today. I ordered it on launch day on Saturday, so that's slower than normal, but as expected because of COVID, a little bit annoyed because uh, LSJ got his and he got his on Monday and I didn't, so uh, Alfleet, where you at with that? But anyways guys, I picked up every single new men's item except for the shorts, I believe. So if you're here for the shorts, Sorry G, you're going to have to go somewhere else, but we're going to take a look at everything else that was just released, especially excited for the stringers, and I finally managed to snag myself a pair of the Identity Joggers in black, which I wanted to get first time round, but was out of stock within like 30 seconds, so we're not going to talk about that. Right, let's rip this open and see what we've got. So guys, I'm going to read it off of here this time because I always seem to mess this up. I got the premium rolled muscle tee in the tan colour, which looks absolutely mint. So I'm really excited for that. In small, I got the Mission Zip Up hoodie uh, blackout. I got that in a medium because anybody who's watched these videos knows that I like my hoodies a little bit oversized. So I go for a medium when it's hoodie. I got the premium stringer in black in a small. As I said, the Identity Joggers in black. And I also got another pair of men's premium V2 joggers also in black in a small because you can never have too many pairs of joggers for the gym. So I guess as it's the easiest thing to kind of do from being like this is I'm just going to try the hoodie on and see what that looks like. Yeah, bro. Like I'm feeling this. This is super, super comfortable straight off the bat. Love the color. Obviously black. Pretty much everything I own is black as far as the fit goes it actually fits quite loose so maybe go true to size but as i like mine a little bit baggy then i'm going a size up for a medium really really comfortable it's got quite tight cuffs I'm trying to stand out of my own light here but it's got quite tight cuffs on it and um, which i like but they could potentially do this like it's not they're not going to fall down or anything when you're moving about i love this detail on the arm these stripes are actually like a, I'd, I'd call it like a, it is a rubberized material basically, um, but it has a really nice like black on black kind of feel to it. I love this little orange accent up here with the stitching. That's awesome. You've got the, the Learn More, Dream More, Be More slogan printed on here as well. And that is also rubberized. As I said, this is a medium. I'm going to do this up now and see, see how it fits done up. I'm going to tie these up later. Everybody knows I tie those up. But it fits, fits pretty nice. This waistband is actually pretty tight as well, to be fair. You've also got there, you've got a branding hit down here as well, if you can see that. Oh God, the camera's not gonna focus on that, is it? Jesus Christ. But that is that is a branding tag. Um, it is actually a learn more, dream more, be more tag, which I've not seen before, so that's interesting. Decent sized pockets, like really nice loose fit. And of course, the hood test. Yep. Boom. 100%. This is an absolute 10 out of 10 hoodie for me. I know I'm going to be wearing this all the time when hoodie season comes around. It is, however, currently 32 degrees in England right now. And when I make these videos, I have to shut all the windows and doors and turn my fan off. So, give this video a like, please. So the next thing that I'm going to try is the stringer because I know that's what majority of people will be wanting to look at. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Nice. I'm actually loving this. So really, really like, like it's fairly stretchy, but it's super breathable. Obviously, because it's a stringer, so it's like completely open at the back. But 
this is like the perfect width i feel like some stringers they just like it's ridiculously low and you can see like way too much peck and stuff like this is actually like exactly how i wanted it to be of course it is it's fucking alpha league it's gonna be it's gonna be sick i'm gonna let you sh uh, show you guys the back it actually has like the circle logo on it obviously i'm not gonna be able to see it in the camera so you're just gonna have to bear with hope the camera focuses it should be in the middle of this if you can see it it is actually it is actually rubberized which is pretty sick and it's black out so it's black on black it's really really minimal i love as i've said before the fact that alpha leak don't scream and shout their name all the time with like massive logos and stuff sometimes that is cool but i love like the minimalistic kind of side to it but it's a really really comfortable kind of fabric um and it just has like standard hemming and stuff it's it looks see-through here but that's because there's a fuck off light right just here please ignore my covid beard it's being sorted out chazzy chops i'm coming for you bro and as far as i know that branding on the back is the only branding tag that is on it um but you can tell it's alpha leak just because of like the fit and everything it, it hugs in the right places it's got this nice kind of tapered i told a lie there is a branding tag down here it's got that kind of fish taily type thing again where it's like a bit bit of a different length on the front and back love that with the little the, the slit inside really cool really really comfortable definitely pick one up if you were umming and ahhing about it just just do it just give your money all your money to Alphalete all of it all of it so I may as well carry on the theme with the upper body and go for this t-shirt next I'm really excited to see what this color looks like because it's kind of like that sandy tan kind of color that I've, I've wanted to pick this color up actually last time with the rolled muscle tee but I actually ended up getting the white the white is amazing and it's actually one of my favorite t-shirts that they've ever done I wear the white one constantly like all the time so I'm really excited to try this on let's do it yo it's actually kind of like not as yellow on the spectrum as like I don't mean yellow as in like yellow I mean I don't know how to explain it. I was expecting it to be more like a deserty kind of color. I don't, I don't know how to explain it because this looks deserty to you. But anyway, I love it. As soon as I put it on, I'm like, yeah, this is like the t-shirt I'm going to wear 24 seven. Super, super like so stretchy, so comfortable. Love the rolled, the rolled sleeves. You got the, the tag here, which is stitched on. Nothing on this side with the, the panel as described on the website on the shoulders i feel like like i just said like like a million times it's pretty i, I just love this this fit of the t-shirt because it's like really tight up here and then kind of more like relaxed and it just it just hangs in such a nice way at the bottom and this one actually doesn't have the little like the fishtail thing i keep going on about but i don't know i just really like it it's quite like a long line kind of kind of t-shirt the back is plain as you can see not much on there but it's just a really really nice t-shirt this is what the color looks like like in as best lighting as i can get if you're looking for a color reference i'm pretty sure they did this color the first time around if this is a new color i do apologize for that but i i swear i saw this and i was like i really want that one when i did my um i actually bought quite a bit from alpha Lee and didn't do a video on it because i was actually at my girlfriend's house and she lived in ireland and a lot of my Alpha Elite stuff is still there, so I can't show you what I got last time. And you guys probably don't know that I have a new girlfriend and she lives in Ireland, so I need to address that in another video. So if you want to know what the fuck's been going on in my life, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding on the notification bell so that you do get notified when I eventually explain what happened. So with the tops and the jumper out of the way we're going to move on to the joggers obviously joggers in the gym is like is key man like if if they're not comfortable if they're not if they're not stretchy if they don't sit on you right like it just bugs me man like i can't focus on my workout like I, I, that might sound really petty and really like stupid to some people um let me know in the comments if you're the same like if you have to have like if you always wear like a certain pair of joggers to the gym and you won't buy anything else that's like me with athlete joggers like i feel like athlete joggers is it's like that's it you can't you can't get any better than athlete joggers especially the premium ones 
uh, the premium v2s hence why i bought a second pair so we're gonna be trying those on now i'm gonna switch up the angle so you can see better so see you in a second right guys so this is my chosen angle hope you enjoy my crotch first of all we're gonna get into the v2s uh in the blackout color in a small um as i said i did buy these previously um except the ones that i had were black with like a white stripe down the side you can probably see in like a clip that i'll put here somewhere of when i did um a haul of those ones um these ones are identical to those ones i believe and they're just going to have a slightly darker paneling on the side like it's just going to be black 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 let's do it right so as you can see they are definitely black on black on black you've got the branding hit just here you probably won't be able to see there we go you got the branding hit just here which is 3d rubberized with alpha leap again that's black so it's literally black everything and uh you've it's just basically like a little panel from about here to just above the knee in the side which is blacked out as the previous ones i've got are white just there these are super super stretchy you'll have no problem doing leg day in these boys two pockets in the front they are open pockets they're not zip up but they're super deep so like nothing is really gonna fall out of there unless you're doing like toes to bar leg raises or something like that we've got two pockets in the back which is always good because i'm always carrying shit around because i wear them all the time as well not just in the gym so i'll have like my wallet or my keys or something and if i'm not wearing a jacket then i can shove them in there that's super handy um cuffed bottoms like which is super important for me because i hate anything that's like baggy around my ankle so they have cuffed bottoms which is an absolute win in the stitching on the inside super comfortable absolute 10 out of 10 athlete joggers are the best so with that being said let's get into the identity joggers that i missed out on last time yo just as good as i expected like i have these in that kind of ready color that i got last time if you saw my previous haul um and i was super stoked to them like they're so comfy and my girlfriend actually like like she felt them and she was like yo they're they're the shit so i really really am glad that i managed to pick these up in black i was quick enough in the checkouts so, like i literally was like boom 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 check out like i wasn't messing around deciding on oh should i like that color or this color i was like i i looked at all the photos beforehand picked what i wanted check out boom done that's how you got to do it about fleet because everything gets sold out in like 10 seconds anyway back to the joggers um as i said about the previous ones they have a small branding hit down here these ones aren't actually cuffed like the premium v2s are they're just like a tapered fit which is actually really nice um these are going to be super sick in winter like uh, you can hear me panting like i'm sweating right now it's so hot in england I don't know what's going on. Two pockets in the back, again, which is absolutely sick as chips. Um, two zip pockets in the front, which again, really deep, but these ones actually are zipped and like, you're not gonna break that zip, like at all. That's that's like premium shit. As I said, the I did get these in a small. For reference, I am, because everybody asks me this, even though I'm pretty sure I put it in every single video when I do like a, a clothing thing. I'm five foot seven. And at the moment, I'm sitting around 70-ish kilos last time I weighed myself. So that is that. Um, if you guys have any questions on the fit or, like, how how it feels, like, any questions at all, um, drop me a DM or, like, just ask your question in the comments. I'm always checking YouTube comments, always, always supporting you guys who support me. So... If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Make sure to give the video a like for me. Absolutely sweating my bollocks off to do this video for you guys. And I hope that you choose to subscribe to the channel and ding dong that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my content because there will be some more coming. Um, I'm going to do a review on the Ghost Cookie one. They did like the EU version of the uh, Chips Ahoy is basically what it is, but there's some legal reason why they can't call it Chips Ahoy. So it's just like cookie or something like that. I picked that up like as soon as it was released and i don't like to do videos about protein until i've used it for a week because like yes it's, it's bad for views to 
to do that because I should really do it the day I get it and be like, oh, sniff test and oh, I'm going to try it. Oh, it's amazing. But then after I've had it for a week and I've, I've drank it daily, like it might change my opinion of it. So I want to give you guys a more rounded view. That's why I wait a week until I do like a review video on protein. So if you want to know about that protein, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 o